Hey everyone, a little while ago I did a video demonstrating some of the new features of ESP Helper, namely the ability to use usernames and passwords. Now in that video I demonstrated how to use these new features with the free cloud broker Cloud MQTT. So if you haven't seen that video already, go and check out that video because it lays out basically how to use usernames and passwords and some of the new changes to ESP Helper. In this video though, I'm going to show all of you guys how to use Adafruit IO with ESP Helper, something I know a lot of you guys have asked me about. So this program is very similar to the other program, the basic username and password program. And both of these programs are included with the ESP Helper examples. Just make sure you have the latest version of ESP Helper because they have been recently added. So there are some differences with Adafruit IO versus regular MQTT cloud brokers. The main difference is how you address different topics. So the usernames and passwords are basically the same. The password in Adafruit IO is actually your AIO key. So if you don't know how to go and find that, I'll show you that in a moment. But first, I just want to show you some of the differences in this program. So Adafruit IO uses feeds, okay? They're basically, they're like topics, but they call them feeds. And the way to subscribe and to publish to these feeds is you use your username slash feeds slash whatever feed it is that you want to publish to. So up here at the top, I have a whole bunch of information that you can fill out for your own setup, namely your network SSID, your network password, your Adafruit IO username. So this is what you signed up for Adafruit IO with your key, which is like your password and whatever feed that you want to use in this, in your program. So my feed is called test as you'll see in a moment. But whatever feed your name is, is what you fill in right here. And so to publish or subscribe to a topic, you do your username slash feeds slash the feed name and then whatever information you want to send. So this is actually adding the subscription, but down here it's publishing a counter, just like in the original basic username and password program. So that's all the setup there really is. You just fill in these little bits of information here and it, you should be able to get up and running with Adafruit IO. Now let's go and take a look at the Adafruit IO page and see how we find some of this information and see the ESP actually publishing to it. So here you can see I have my AIO web page up and I'm logged in as it kind of works. And if I go over to settings, you can see manage AIO keys. So this is where you find your key, which is akin to your password. So if you click AIO key, it's blurred out on your screen here, but we have my username, which is, it kind of works. And then my key, which you can see is blurred out, but it's there. And if you ever need to regenerate a key, you can just click regenerate AIO key and you'll get a new key. So if you're silly and accidentally forget to blur out your key on a video, you can just create yourself a new key. So remember how I was talking about feeds and how those are kind of like topics? So if you go over to the feeds panel, you can see that I have a feed called test, but you can also go and create a new feed give it a name, give it a description, and you can make it whatever name you want to give it. I've just created one here called test to show you guys how this works. So if we open up my test feed, you can see there's no data in it right now. But if I plug in my ESP, which is running this program that I just showed you, you'll see information start to come in. So it connects to the network and there we go. There's our first number zero, one, and every five seconds we get a new value, there's two, and so on. So you can see if I refresh the page, the graph will actually fix itself a little bit there. There we go. So 
this is our program running. So it's really simple to get up and running with Adafruit IO with ESP Helper. And I hope this video helps you get your own projects running. I know this isn't the most interesting program in the world, but it should be good enough to help you get running with Adafruit.io. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, you know what to do. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down and make sure you subscribe to the channel so I know you like these videos. If you're feeling really awesome today, go to patreon.com slash itkindaworks and make whatever donation you can. It all helps out the channel. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you guys later.